<laughs> I am a genius. Oh no! As an outdoors filmmaker, a question I get asked all the time is, Stephen, what tripod can I carry with me that will carry my camera and doesn't weigh a ton? And if you look out there, you'll see all kinds of popular options like the Peak Design carbon fiber tripod that costs 500 pounds. But I've discovered this. This is the KNF Concept carbon fiber travel tripod. Currently, it's available for around under 100 pounds. It weighs less than the 500 pound Peak Design tripod. It weighs 1.3 kilos. This weighs 1.013, so it's lighter. The Peak Design tripod goes up to um, 130 centimeters, and this one goes up to 150. So actually, a lot of the basic specs are better in Peak Design, and it's a fifth of the price. But is it any good? Well, I'll give you a quick look at it here. I've used the previous version of this tripod for most of my hiking stuff and they've used it for the last two years and then Ken F sent me this updated version and the build quality is fantastic. Nice carbon fiber, metal and plastic and rubber construction but it does feel solid even though it does weigh one kilo. To open it up you can, this is a technique you have to get good at, with one hand twists and you can open all the legs, yes, in a single go. I'm gonna stab the camera. This is just demonstrating how it has different positions for the, for the tripod legs. You can see on here, there's a little catch that will let you put it in the default position, which is like that. And that gives you your sort of standard height. You've got the central column on here, which if you want a little bit more stability, you loosen this, push that down in, and that's typically the most stable position you'll get. Now, if you then val value height over stability, you can lift this up, tighten that. Okay, that's not bad. That's up to whatever that height is, but there's an extra ring here. Listen, that one, whoop, and it goes up even further like that. There's a nice foam piece on here, which is nice to act as a handle but it also serves another purpose, which we'll come back to in just a second. There's an excellent ball head on the tripod here. Loosen this uh, knob on the side here, and this lets you do sideways movements like that, which is really good if you're trying to like stack up panoramas. And I've actually found for video, this is smooth enough to do panning shots. Um, loosen this one, and that loosens the ball head. And then on top here, we have little spurt level to make sure it's flat and we've got an Arca Swiss compatible plate. I just set it straight on and tighten it up and that connector on the top there will work with any tripod plate that says Arca Swiss on it. You don't necessarily have to use the plate that comes with it. Those plates live on my cameras. They also work with my um, quick release clip that I have on my bag and it means I can go clip onto the tripod really fast to work with. Good question with tripods, I guess, is what about stability? Well, I'm on really non-stable ground here. And the downside with any travel tripod is that they will not be as stable as a big full blown tripod. So it does depend on your uses. There is bend and flex in the legs. And while this will take a big lens, it can support that weight. Um, and if you do want to make the tripod more stable, what you can do is there's a hook on the bottom here so you can hang a bag or something on the bottom um, with a bit of weight in it that'll that'll keep the tripod a lot more stable is this going to produce 100 percent steady shots no it's not but if you combine this setup with a little bit of post stabilization you can get some really really good results in it so here's an example of where i use this tripod to shoot some ships sailing along the sea with clouds in the background. The original footage was a bit shaky, but I was able to add a little bit of warp stabilizer, and then it's perfect. This gave me the stabilization I needed to get the shots in the first place, and I was able to get it the rest of the way in post. While this isn't like crazy, crazy stable when it's at its full extended height, if the height doesn't matter and you need to get a lot of stability, take in the three bottom sections, because they're, they're the loosest, they're the wobbliest, because they're the thinnest. And that, all of a sudden, gives you like a pretty stable, solid 
tripod. If you want to go even more stable than that, you can open the legs up to a wider position, closing these in a little bit more, and that gives you a pretty stable platform. I do have larger, bigger, heavier tripods that will give me much more stable shots than this, but the fact that I know that this combined with a little bit of post stabilization will get me there for 99% of the video work I do means I tend to bring this with me rather than anything else. The Peak Design one only goes to about this height, which if you're trying to record vlogs, the camera for me is too low. Whereas that extra bit of height there gets this up at a much better height for me talking to camera. So that's why I prefer this over the Peak or why it suits me better over the Peak. But it has one last trick up its sleeve. Not that it has sleeves, because inside it's got a hidden monopod. Watch this. This leg comes off, and I can take that, screw that into the tripod head, and all of a sudden I have an incredibly lightweight monopod. It's good for enforcing social distancing. Get away from me, you peasants. I thought you were gonna say you could do a mean Gandalf impression with it. You shall not pass! <laughs> but you don't want to hit it too hard into the ground because it's a bit wobbly. Strike me down and I become more powerful than you could possibly match. And sometimes that combined with uh, in body stabilization and lens stabilization can be all you need to work with a long lens. Again, something I value as somebody who prefers to work really, really fast rather than doing everything 100% perfect at the time. But yeah, just a nice little extra feature. And if you're really careful, you can, it'll, it'll balance. Like, no, don't do that, it won't balance. One second later. <laughs> and I suppose the last use that this has is in a real pinch. You can just lower a few of these down. So you're putting a bit more heft into the end there. Tighten it all up. Got yourself a quality burglar basher. What's that? You're trying to steal my camera? <laughs> I do like my tripod. Ah! <laughs> Insert clunk. <laughs> Insert clunk. That's the KNF carbon fiber tripod. Personally, the tripod I use more than any any other. Um, I'm one that I would definitely recommend to somebody who wants like a really lightweight option um, for hiking and adventures and things like that. With the caveat being, of course, that. Um, in really, really windy conditions, you will get some vibrations with this, but that's always gonna be the trade-off with um, ultralight tripods. But hopefully you find this useful, this useful, hopefully you find this useful video. And if you did find this useful video, please <laughs> give it a subscribe. And if you haven't yet, please like to the channel.